Game Beard. All right, hi. Let's talk about brushes. Um, there's all kinds of fancy, expensive brushes out there, and I use all kinds of different ones. And I don't use Games Workshop brushes because I can't afford them, but I'm sure they're great, so I'm not gonna talk about them. Mainly I'm gonna talk about Army Painter and Reaper, but I do have other brushes to talk about. Basically, you wanna get, you just wanna get some good brushes, right? You wanna get some good brushes. You don't wanna cheap out. Um, my current favorite is Reaper. So just get Reaper brushes. But Army Painters can be good, and um, I get cheap brushes too. Let's talk about the cheap brushes. Are you cheap? Don't be cheap. Um, but at Walmart, they sell packs, let's see, they sell packs of these brushes. And they got more expensive recently because of <laughs> our economy and stuff like that. But a couple years ago, these were awesome cheap. It was like six bucks, and you got like a pack of these. It was like more than this. You probably got like 10 brushes, and you're like, oh, Dave, that's, that's not very pro painterly of you. Um, yeah, whatever. It's like they're so good. These are so good. I recommend, I don't know, I don't know what kind of, you know, I don't know all the technicalities, but this is just a, they're all, pro, they're all synthetic probably, uh, but this white synthetic, it's, it's the, um, the bristles feel thinner and um, these are a little heavier. So I don't know, for all I know, they're the same. Don't get the white. I got the white. This was cheap too. I mean, you see I have this giant air uh, dry brush and I got a bunch of brushes and it was like 10 bucks, but I got like 20 brushes. It was crazy cheap. So these are nice, they're, they're expendable. Um, take care of them. What, ha what I find, what I find is this, and it is hilarious. I got these kind of expendable brushes, um, but I use them all the time. I clean them, yeah, I take care of them, and they last a long time. And I use them, and I use them so much that I end up, I end up not using my nicer brushes. But these, these work really well. So I highly recommend these. You can find them in the craft section at Walmart or or uh, Hobby Lobby or stuff like that. But they'll come in like a little can and you'll get like, I don't know, maybe 10 brushes and they'll probably be like $7. And these are great, get these. They have bigger ones too. Um, but you know, you want these. And, and great little dry brushes and stuff like that. So I highly recommend these. I don't know what the name, there's a name here. It says Royal, I can't read it. Can you read it? Oh, there we go. I can read it there. Royal and Langnickel, yeah, whatever. Yeah, you know, Walmart, Walmart, like a ghetto brush. But these these work great. Um, it's funny, I wasn't able to read it visually, but when I put it up, I can read it on the, the television or the computer screen. Okay, these are great. Pick them up, cheap. Okay, let's talk about um, Army Painter. I love Army Painter's products, but I tell you what, I hate, I hate the uh, the Psycho. Oh, you can't read it. Let's see. Oh, there, wow. It's, it's blowing out, there it is insane detail more like piece of crap it should be like wargamer piece of crap so this is the uh this is the psycho brush and it sucks i hate this brush now it's an okay brush but it's not an insane it, you know what this is this is like a a medium brush <laughs> like i would use this for medium stuff not not detail this is not a detail brush um what i do like about it is you know this triangular whatever grip and it won't roll off your table yeah okay that's fine but you know what I really like in a paintbrush one that actually works uh, like a fine detail brush that actually paints fine detail I'd prefer that uh, army painter over your uh, over your this is pretty cool though I, I must admit I like this so my only complaint is it's not a it's not a detail brush this is this is not a detail brush not even close so whatever, it's a brush, it's a brush. It wasn't that expensive. I want to say, I, I got it um, uh, what's it called, Miniature Market. And so I got it discounted. So, you know, uh, whatever, I got it. The, you know what pissed me off though, is before I knew that this brush sucked, uh, um, Miniature Market had it. So I'm like, oh, I'm all in, I'm buying two of them. So I bought two of these things. Cause I figured, dude, it's insane detail. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna work this thing until it's dead, I'm gonna need another one handy. So I bought two of these and it sucks. But like I said, it's a good medium brush. So I guess I'll use it for medium brushes, whatever. Um, so Army, Army Army Painter, you suck. But I must, but to give them a break, I got this, what is this, precise detail? 
This one's pretty good. I like this brush. But again, this isn't my super fine detail brush. Um, but I do like this brush. So I, this is, like this is better than the Psycho. So get this brush, precise detail. It's still not your finest detail, but it's a good brush. I use this, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna give that brush a hard time. Now this brush, it's kind of funny. I buy all kinds of supplies and stuff, and I put them in a can, like a little brush can, and then I'm like, I didn't even realize I had this brush. So there's like an army painter, what is this? It's like a large, large dry brush. It's not that large, but, um, and it's, it's kind of chiseled, you know? So, oh, so I'm gonna start using this. This looks like a good brush. Um, feels like a good brush, but I haven't actually used it. So this is kind of cool. One good thing about Army Painter, though, to give them credit, is uh, they're inventive, or they're trying to be. They're trying to be inventive, and I do appreciate that. Like the handles are good. Like I like the chiseled. You know that's good. So they're you know maybe they got that idea from someone else, but they're trying to they're trying to to make the stuff that we need. And all, all, most of their product I like. So what can I say? They they dropped the ball on the Psycho brush, but they did great on everything else they do. I mean, well, a lot of other things. Okay, here's Reaper. Um, so Reaper, I really like Reaper. And so here's here's the here's the the real Psycho. This is called uh, what do we got here? It's the five five zero Reaper Pro Paint. What? There's even a number eight five zero seven. This is the brush I use. This is the brush I use. Look, oh. You see, there's a little bit of dried paint on it there because I love it. I, tr I clean this thing constantly too. Um, this is great. I did buy a couple of these and I was happy. So um, get this brush. This is your fine detail brush. They have a smaller brush than this and I saw it at the store and I was laughing. It was like, <laughs> it was like you're trying too hard. So if you get the brush that's smaller than this, you're trying too hard. Like stop, just stop it. Um, it was ridiculously small. Um, I, maybe it works, but I didn't want to. I didn't want to spend money on it to find out. I mean, this I knew that this this is more. I'm going to use this for everything. So, but they do have something smaller. I don't know. May, is it a 10-0? Maybe I don't know. I don't care. But it was it was it was laughable. I was like laughing. It was kind of like we got we got the finest brush. It's like oh come on, Reaper, you're trying too hard. Um, but anyways, that 5.0, that's, that's my new favorite brush. What else do I have here? Oh, and I bought this in a, I got this in a three pack. I think I got a three pack. They sell these little three packs of brushes. And so I, cause I wouldn't normally buy this guy. This is like a little, it's the number two, I guess it's number two, but it's flat. It's like, a, it's, you know what this is? This is like a detailed dry brush. So I would use this for dry brushing, um, or painting, but I, I, I'm probably going to use this for like little thinner, um, detail dry brushing. So this is a Reaper number two. Good. Yummy. What else do I have here? Oh, this one's a, oh, a zero, zero, zero Reaper. This one is almost as big. Let's see. Where's my, where's my favorite? Oh gosh. It's in my hand. Let's compare them. Get the five O. -oh. So this, this one is, so we got the zero, zero, zero. It's bigger. So I don't use this for detail. This is, this is kind of, this is like, <laughs> even this one's better than the Psycho. That's how bad the Psycho is. But this is kind of like the Psycho. It's kind of like a medium, medium detail brush. Um, but this, this 5.0 right here, that's it. That's, that's my favorite brush. I'm so happy. Not too many things make me happy. Something makes me happy, I get happy. What's this? I got a Reaper Zero here. That thing's like a, that thing's like ginormous. I guess it's ginormous for us uh, miniature painters, right? Um, but again, it's like it's kind of like a it's it's almost like a medium brush, a medium for like painting gauntlets and and you know stuff. But it's still a good brush. I think this I probably got this one. I probably got this one in a pack of three. And I must say, when you buy your brushes, like so, Reaper sells them in packs of three. You save like a you save like, you actually save money. I I don't I don't know if you save money on Games Workshop. Normally you don't. Games Workshop, you know, is who they are. But Reaper, you actually save a few bucks when you buy them in a three pack. So it's it's nice. So anyways, this is my favorite brush. Pretty sweet. Let me show you some other weird stuff that I have. I buy um, just art brushes, and um, I got this from an an art like a you know, a fine art. I forgot what it was called, and I don't care. 
Um, but anyways, it's uh, it was hilarious. I got this pack of like the, these uh, flat square brushes. It's called like Eye of the Tiger. And I wouldn't have bought these, but they were on sale. And it came with a bunch of these flat brushes in all kinds of different sizes. In fact, here I got a small one here. There's like more. How many did I get? I don't know. What is a six? I think I got six all together. And so it's like, oh, these are great for dry brushing. And there's a good price. So, I mean, I was pretty happy with this. I don't think they're the highest quality brush. Um, and, and dry brushing, um, you can kind of see like the edges. It's hard to clean the paint off. And so eventually they have to be retired. Um, but I love these little, oops, I love these little itty bitty ones. These ones for like small. So these are great. So this is just kind of a funny thing. I have the tiger by dynasty, I guess, whatever. Um, I guess it was a six pack, but I was pretty pleased with this. This was a lot of fun. It was kind of like a, a good find. I was ordering supplies, like uh, fine art supplies. And I'm like, Oh, it was on sale. Oh my God. And I very pleased, very pleased with those. Okay. Now let's talk about these. These are the brushes that I used before Reaper. Oh, I still use them. I still use them. So I, Okay, so this is, oh, here's another Reaper. Oh, this is Kalinsky. This is real rat fur, not rat, but some kind of rodent. Oh yeah, they don't hurt the rodent. They, they harvest it from the rodent. So I haven't used this one much, but it feels good. I, I Reaper, Reaper finest. Oh, Kalinsky, Ireland. Oh, they had to ship it over from Ireland. This is a real lucky brush. Oh man, that was probably it's probably racist of me to say. But this is this um this is good. This is I can tell this is good. I haven't used it much. Like I said, I um I buy some of these brushes, I'm like, oh yeah, that looks good. And then I put it into a cup and then I and then I use my crappy brushes. So I will I'll use this, I promise. Reaper. I'm I'm a big Reaper fan now. Okay, but these I can't even say it. Here, here's the name. Low Cornell, and there's all kinds of different numbers, but like I love them and, and like I rub it off. So like it has some kind of weird. Here, let's see. Can I read this? I can't even read this. Here, I'm just gonna put it so that you can uh, you can read it. Let's see. It is La. Let's see. La Cafel Cafiel. Yeah, I totally said that all wrong. But there, you can read it. You can read it there. And um, I like these brushes. Um, they're like, they're paint brushes. So I get a one, one, what is this, a four? I think this is a four. Yeah, it's a four, you can barely read it because I rub it off. And then um, that's another one. And then I also use that ultra thin one. Let's see if I can find it here. Oh, it's right here. This is what I used, what is this? This is like a, it's a 10 zero. The problem is it's, it's, too, um, it's too long. It's too long, but when this, here, I'll wet it. Um, it gets real thin. So this is what I used before Reaper, and it's pretty good. Um, it's long. This is more for like like fine art, right? Like for actually painting a painting. This would be a thin brush for a, a, a real painting, <laughs> right? Not miniatures. Um, all of these are like that. Um, but these are really good, I like them. I use them with ink too. So this one you can kind of see it's kind of black. Um, ink. These work great for ink too. So these are just great brushes. I like them. And you can buy them. I think I get them at Dick Blick or I think it's called Blick now. Um, and so you can you can get them there. And I, I usually order them like a bunch because like I want to get free shipping. So I'll order like, you know, three of these, three of these, and three of these. And then I'll order paper and stuff and I'll try to get the free shipping. Um, and then they sit in a can and I never use them. Like this one. This guy has been used. Wow. Fresh. He's still got the plastic tip on. Wow, looks good. But this is, so again, this is low uh, Cornell. Pretty good. Um, I'm happy. That I use these for forever, but now I'm a big Reaper fan. So just get Reaper brushes. Look at this. Speaking of which, just for fun, let me show you this brush. Look at this crappy, look at this beauty. Look at this beauty. This is one of those crappy Walmart brushes. And um, what happens is it's all like, oh, look at this. It's like, I, this is about to be retired. And like the only reason why I have to retire is I can't, because I, I really can't use it anymore. But um, what happens is, like I said, with those cheap brushes, whenever you get a, whenever you use a brush a lot and it starts to get bad, well, it's like a utility brush now. So like I use it for like, I would use this for glue, like to paint on glue. I would use it for, um, 
I don't know, like what, like like scrumbling, you know, stuff, like you know, detail. And then, but the most importantly, though, I use it to like get paint out of the the um, bottle, and then I put it on my palette. So like I, I kind of use it to scoop out paint on my palette, and I use it. And sometimes, sometimes like I'll like like I'll scoop out some paint from like here. I got you know I got my little uh, I got my little thing, and I'm like scooping out the paint and I put it on my palette. And then, like, I'm too lazy to pick up a good brush, and I'll just start painting with this. Like, I'll start painting, like, you know, bigger, broader areas. And, like, I use this brush so much. So, and I get I get good results. I mean, if you're, like, a, a snob, then God bless you. But uh, I get so much use out of these brushes. So I guess my point is, is um, you know, if you clean your brushes and take care of them, they last a long time. This thing I've put through hell. You know, I've done all kinds of things with this brush, and it's lasted a long time. And I, I have to tape it, like like it'll pop off. That's one thing about these cheap brushes. Here, I got another one here. Um, that's the problem with these cheap um, these cheap Walmart brushes is that they pop off. So what did I do? I just tape it. A little bit of blue tape here. It's good, you know. But the, here you can see, it's all fraying. I have to like stick it back down, and I'm using it. Um, but practice your technique. Practice your technique. Make sure your brush is, is working. You know, if it's even if it's a cheaper brush, as long as you can get a nice thin tip, you know, when it's wet and it works, then you're good to go. And um, practice your skills, and then eventually it won't really matter what brush you use. Um, but I do like I, I do recommend those Reapers. The Reapers were um, they were not too expensive. I mean, I don't know five or six. They're probably like six bucks a brush. But if you buy them in a pack of three, it's like 15 for three. And if you don't have 15 bucks to buy some good brushes, you're in the wrong hobby. So that's it. That's it for brushes. Is there anything else I want to talk about? Um, I think I talked about everything. I talked about brushes. Get Reaper. I like Reaper. I'm sure there's better brushes out there. And I'm sure um, GW, I'm sure their brush, I, maybe their brushes are good. I don't know. I can't afford Games Workshop anymore. I bought these on my Reaper. Oh, I got an army painter in there. How dare you? Get get out of there. Here are all my Reapers. Oh, and the Kalinsky. Oh, Kalinsky. Get yourself a Kalinsky. That that rodent that um, shared shared the, the bounty of their fur that you might paint miniatures. So Kalinsky, you gotta get one of those. Some kind of rodent. Um, YouTube, but it's kind of funny. And I think I think on their website they promise you those beasts are not injured at all like they are they are petted and well fed so that you can get um, actual animal brushes um, these are usually probably it feels it, it does feel soft I can definitely feel um, I don't know these pro paint if these have any kind of fancy probably not these are probably synthetic but I can definitely feel this is nice and soft and um, again this might be better for ink you know more delicate stuff but uh, but it's good. But yeah, Reaper is affordable, and so definitely I, I can't recommend them enough. Um, as far as Games Workshop goes, they're probably good. They're probably good. They're, pro they're probably more expensive too. It's kind of like their um their their primer. Their primer is like, you know, you gotta like you know gotta sell your blood to get some uh, Games Workshop primer, but it it works really good. So I don't know. That's it. Brushes. Go get some. Talk to you later. Bye.